welcome back to my channel. Today I visited one of my local nurseries. I think it was called like Exotic Plants or something like that. And I got some video because they had some exotic plants and super beautiful plants. And so I didn't get anything because I willed myself to not get any more plants till the new year, which is like a month and a half or a month, a month and a few days away. So I didn't get anything but beautiful plants. So I wanted to get some video for you guys to kind of see what it was like. And the plants were on like the pricey side because they were more exotic or rare or whatever. And um, so that's another reason I didn't get any, but yeah, so let's get into it. Okay, so the painting on the front of this shop was so beautiful. I had to get some pictures of it. So right away there was this, these palm tree looking plants and then this larger Dracaena. And then there is this um, bearded dragon here. I think it's a bearded dragon, um, but it was pretty cute. I thought it was fun seeing it here in the plant shop and it was holding very still. There was a large section of bromeliads, which I have owned one at one point, but that didn't go well. It was like my third or fourth plant I had ever gotten. And then moving on, there's these bonsai trees, which were quite expensive, I would say. And so were these big cactuses and the carnivorous plants. The Hoyas were decently priced, but um, they just, they weren't looking super great. I don't know. And yeah, there was these larger plants, which I didn't really check out because I'm not super interested in them right now. And then lots of pothos, of course. And I did say in my intro that these plants were a little pricier for what they were. So that's also part of the reason I didn't get any, but I do want to get some at some point because it is good to, it's like a local business, so I guess it's good to support, you know, local businesses, of course. But yeah, they had really good looking plants, so. This Monstera Alba was crazy. I've never seen such a mature, well variegated Alba before and such, it was just so big and I loved it. Um, and the lady in the shop said the one behind was a Thai constellation, which was so beautiful. It was like more yellow and creamy, whereas like the Alba was like white and creamy, but they were just both so beautiful and looked so pretty up there. This here was a philodendron painted lady, and I do have one of these that's much smaller, but I do hope to grow it nice and mature like that one. And then right here was like a young Monstera, just the regular green kind. I think there was like a few Peperomias. Peperomias. There's just like a mix of plants here. They were all beautiful and just, yeah, really cool, really beautiful. This mirror here said that if you take a selfie and upload it to their website, you get 15% off, which I did take a selfie, but I didn't upload it, but I will at one point because, I mean, I want 15% off. There was a few anthuriums that you could just like find in a grocery store, that kind, with like the flamingo flower, the bright pink flower, so that was cool. I don't have one. I don't think I want one, but they were pretty. And I'm guessing this is like a Florida beauty or something, but let me know if I'm wrong on that because I think I could be because it didn't look quite like a Florida beauty. And this was a terrarium full of like more rare plants, which I actually didn't ask about because I pretty much knew that the prices would be way up there, so I didn't bother. But yeah, there was a variegated Monstera adinsonii, which I'd never seen in person before, so that was super cool. Over here was like a pink princess, philodendron pink princess, philodendron summer glory, and a couple alocasias, which were a little more unique. These plants over here, like this, um, I think it's a Milano chrysum, and there was a actually a philodendron I'd never seen before there, so that was unique. And then I spotted this philodendron white wizard, I believe it was, which I have a white princess, so I'm not really looking for another one. But it's still cool to see those types of plants, like, it's always fun. There was some philodendron micans over here, and then these ficus shiverianas, I think they're called. They're super pretty, but they were definitely, like, more expensive. And then over here were some marantas, lots of marantas, lemon lime, I believe they were, and then there was a 
couple silver band marantas, and just, yeah, just a collection of prayer plants. And then these were some of the biggest, bigger ficus, which were pretty. There was a skylight to help shed lots of light, and then there was some pots and more ficus. And then this was the plant wall. And these were more unique plants. You know, they're kind of rarer plants. And they were just displayed so beautifully on this like wall. It was gorgeous. And there was a couple anthurium, which were beautiful. They were like close to $100, if not over that. And so I really would like to get some anthurium, but like start them younger so they're more cheap. But yeah, stunning plant wall. There were some orchids, which I'm not really an orchid person, but my mom is, so I'll help her take care of them when she has a couple. There were bins of what you like need to mix your own soil. Like they had everything, like moss, bark, they, they had leca and perlite and everything, like charcoal, everything you need, which was super cool. Outside was a mini greenhouse, which I'm not sure I was supposed to be in there, but the door was open and there wasn't a sign that said I couldn't be, so I went in anyway. The plants in here were really beautiful, but they looked kind of rough because the doors were open and it was really cold in there. So the ones that like were not like looked damaged by the cold looked really good and beautiful, but yeah, they weren't for sale. nursery had so many beautiful plants and it was just so super cool so if you guys liked it too give it a like comment subscribe and i will see you in the next video thanks for watching bye